Hi Tina A. Wake for the litmus test. We're out and about for the visual arts episode and there's lots of great artists on the coast. We've been talking to potters, sculptors, tattoo artists, all kinds of interesting stuff coming up for the litmus test. We're at the Potter Society in East Gosford and I'm here with a very living legend, Judy <laughs> Barrett, who's been potting a long time. 48 years. 48 years. So Judy, how do you make a living from your pottery? It's very slow these days. It's got slower over the, over the probably the last six or seven years, I think, noticeably. The whole scene seems to have changed quite a lot. But there are very living. few little galleries around the countryside, and you used to always take trips around the countryside and visit places. But uh, <clears throat> the creative arts seem to have sort of gone down in people's, people's uh, interests, unfortunately. I think the process of trying to make a living out of art is, um, well, for me, it's been quite long and drawn out. It's it's probably easier if you if you're better at self-selling. So I think persistence has been the key, and finding finding a genre or finding something that sits well and you, you're comfortable with that you can actually focus on at least to start with. People get to know your work and start to identify. Um, your style and then you know you can start to get a following that way. I think it's slowly making progress. Uh, it's been a long time coming. At the moment we're seeing a rise in emerging artists and young contemporary artists stepping up and creating their own opportunities in um, gallery spaces a lot of pop-up exhibitions, there's a lot of businesses that are taking on, like myself, um, a role in helping propagate new artists, new ideas and new creative spaces. How do they do that? Uh, you're seeing people like uh, Glass Onion Society who are holding exhibitions themselves over at Blackbird where I am. We've got a, an artist run gallery space and we have regular exhibitions, group exhibitions, solo exhibitions there. I also think that uh, the internet's taking a big brunt of, of uh, space for exhibitions. There's not a lot of places you can go on the coast now to see art and to see contemporary art, which I think is a real shame. Uh, we've had a long tradition, which I support 100% of the traditional arts, and I think it's now we're seeing just slowly people starting to pop up their head and going there's a little bit more outside than square than what we've currently been having for the last sort of 20 years on the coast. How do we re-educate art mm. to be part of our culture? So for sculptors, um, sculpture by the sea sort of been an important um, you know, flux that has changed. People now have opinions, but opinions not enough. People have to have um, an interest and a, um, a, an understanding. They have to have um, an emotional attachment, they actually have to value what artists are doing because, you know, <laughs> they reckon teachers aren't valued. <laughs> artists aren't! <laughs> Not in Australia. You mean is that especially on the coast? Um, I actually think that's probably generally, but I think it's probably even more so on the coast. There is a support of artists here, but I've been looking further afield, even internationally, for more recognition and have found that it's probably going to be easier overseas. I just think it's really hard here to get people to appreciate what you do. A visual artists who really, their only outlets are through galleries where the galleries take sometimes 40 or 50% of the, of the money. So the, that actually makes art very pricey. You, know, you double the price of it plus GST <laughs> on top of the everything so so it's actually doubling the price of what the artist values the art at start off start off as and so people really you know they can buy cheap stuff and hang it on the wall and they don't never look at it again anyway so but that's that's not what it's all about they it's this appreciation of what artists are doing how they're and, and not all artists do this but how they're changing people's values and understanding of what they, how they relate with each other or their environment or all that sort of stuff. It's a very difficult um, thing and, and you know our country's a baby. Um, that's right. It is and that's part of the problem. We're still babies in our mind and we still don't appreciate, I mean a lot of stuff.